Well, I think there's like one main reason that most laundry systems fail. But the good news is, is that once we get this worked out, you can literally put your laundry system on autopilot and never think about it again. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom. I told the kids to go outside and play and they're like standing right outside this window like yelling and screaming. It's awesome. Um, but we love sharing tips and tricks to help your family simplify your house, including laundry. And I truly think there is one main change that we could make to your laundry system that would make all the difference. <laughs> so I'm excited to share that with you today. But real quick, I wanted to let you know that our decluttering membership group is open for this week only. So we only open it a few times throughout the year. And I'm excited because starting next week, we're actually going to be going through the book, The Lazy Genius Way, which is basically all about getting rid of the stuff that doesn't matter in your house and in your schedule and really finding ways to streamline things so you can spend more time focusing on what you care about. And so I probably just did not do a good job explaining the book, but I'm really excited to go through it as a group because the ideas in it are very easy and practical to implement, yet they make a huge difference. So I know there's going to be really good things that come out of it and it's fun to go through it with a group that can help hold you accountable. So I'll put all the details for our membership group down below. And also my earrings are from Empowered Goods. They help women out of poverty by paying them a fair wage. We have a giveaway going on on Instagram and Facebook so you can check those out as well. Okay that is all for announcements. Let's talk about laundry. Laundry is nah, like nobody likes laundry, <laughs> right? It's just one of those things we have to do and I think for many of us our laundry system was born out of uh, what we learned growing up, how we did it at home, and we don't actually often take time to break it down and be like, why isn't it working? Usually it's because we think we're lazy or something's wrong with us, right? That's why our system's not working. But I think there is one main thing that's going wrong, and that is simply that you have too much inventory when it comes to the laundry that goes through your laundry room. So from linens and towels and washcloths and uh, dish towels to clothes, to all the clothes that your family has, for most of us, we have too much inventory and it completely overloads and overwhelms our laundry system and that's why it doesn't work. So I wanna talk about the actual like system, how laundry moves through our house, but I do wanna start at the beginning because I think if we can get this piece of the puzzle figured out, it is gonna make the rest of your laundry system, like it, it, it'll it be so simple and easy. It's just like a non-issue in our house anymore. Like it just, like laundry just happens. It's, it's just not a big deal anymore, even with us having six people in our house. So number one, simplify the inventory. So how many bath towels does your family actually need? We have, we used to have eight, we have six now. Six people in our house, six bath towels, it works great. We have one set of sheets for each of the beds. We try not to have extra blankets and other things like that laying around. In our kitchen, we have like seven dish towels and five dish cloths. And then we've also shared about how we've highly simplified our own wardrobes and our children's wardrobes as well. And so it makes it so that all of the laundry in our house fits into its designated spaces very easily and very comfortably. And so that has made a big difference. It's also made it so that we no longer have random piles everywhere. There's not unfolded laundry on the couch, in the bedrooms, there's not heaps on the floor. Because we have so little inventory when it comes to clothing and other textiles, <laughs> I don't know what to call them, those piles don't happen anymore because we're literally wearing and using all of the stuff in our house. And those piles in the past were a byproduct of simply having too much. I didn't need all those clothes that were on the floor or the extra stuff in my drawers or the back of my closet. Now I need the clothes I have. Like they have to go through the laundry and get put back so I can wear them again. And there's just not even enough to leave it piled up places. Does that make sense? And so it is totally counterintuitive. And we're like, hey, my laundry system isn't working. Like the answer isn't like, we'll just get rid of all your stuff, right? Like, But it has been very fun to hear from you as well that this has made a huge difference in your house too. And so of course we have lots of videos about this. The best way to test it out is to use quarantine bins or just to pack stuff away to see if you actually miss it. But I'm telling you, I don't think you're gonna because your house is not gonna be overwhelmed 
with piles of laundry anymore. Okay, so that is probably what would make the biggest difference with how laundry works in your house. The second thing is that for us, we try to do one load a day. The fly lady says a load a day keeps the laundry monster away. I know some people like having a dedicated laundry day. What I found for us was that it was very stressful watching the laundry pile grow throughout the week and that if that day that we had dedicated to laundry, if something got in the way or came up, then it, it, it was like it went two weeks before we got back on top of it again. And that was very stressful too. And so for us, especially now that we do try to keep more simplified wardrobes, one load a day makes that very possible. And I really love that whenever I come into the laundry room, it's not overwhelming. The second thing is that I have gotten rid of the hampers and the laundry baskets in our house. Now, we are fortunate to have a main floor laundry room. Our bedroom's on the main level, the kids are upstairs, and then all the bathrooms are on this level. So whenever anybody changes, whether it's in their room or in the bathroom, room after taking a shower or whatever, all of the dirty laundry comes in here. Our house is small. It's not very far away. Everybody has legs that work. And so that's just the rule in our house, but it's worked really well because what I like is that then when I come in here to do a load of laundry, all of the dirty clothes are already in here. I don't have to go around the house first and collect dirty laundry. And isn't it amazing how just saving that one extra step makes it way more likely for me to come in, throw in a load of laundry while I'm getting dinner ready. And so I really enjoyed not having that. Now, again, if your laundry room is in the basement or the garage, um, it, that might not be possible, but you might wanna significantly limit the number of hampers you have, like one on each level. And I would honestly see if you could get rid of laundry baskets altogether, because I don't know about you, but in our house, Anything that holds stuff will hold stuff. And so laundry baskets fill up with laundry and then that's where it sits. And so maybe you're more disciplined and you can handle them, but we have gotten rid of every single laundry basket in our house and have not looked back, have never once thought, I really wish I had half clean, half dirty clothes, half who knows what's in it sitting around the house anymore. <laughs> so I don't miss them at all. But along with that brings us to our next step is that when each load of laundry comes out of the dryer, I deal with it Fully. But here's the thing, it's only one load, so it's not actually that much. I start sorting it basically as it comes out of the dryer, like, okay, bath towel, that I fold. But here's some, these are the girls, more of the girls, so that's all gonna go upstairs. This is the boys. So I kind of just sort it quickly as it comes out. And like, it's actually amazing how much it doesn't have to be folded. I usually try to turn everything right side out before I wash it, but that didn't happen. So sore. Like this is a really typical load. So this is one of Tom's white t-shirts. So I'll throw that up in his bin. Like boxers just throw up in his bin. These are a pair of Tom's jeans, so I'll fold these. Um, but otherwise, boys, boys. All right, so I'm gonna put Tom's jeans away and then this will go to the bathroom and then I have two piles to go upstairs, but see how I can hold everything. Like I don't actually need a laundry basket to go put this stuff away or I ask the kids to come in here and I just hand it to them and they go put it away. And so just like that, the whole load of laundry is done and that feels really good to have it completely dealt with each time it comes out of the dryer. Which brings us to our next step is that I try to fold as little as physically possible. So we've talked about our bins that we have. All of the kids have either drawers or bins that their clothes go into. The only things that we fold or hang up are nice clothes, but everything else is, it's kids clothes. It's like, it's it, it doesn't get wrinkled. Like they're totally fine. Tom has bins in here for t-shirts and his undergarments and his socks. And so anything that does not have to get folded, I don't fold and that does make it easy coming out of the dryer. Again, because it's just one load, I don't need a laundry basket. Like I can hold it all in my arms. If I have, need to go to the bathroom and put some towels away, if I need to run up to the kids' room, I put their clothes on their bed and then they have to put them away before bedtime. If it's our stuff, I can put it away quick. So that piece too, dealing with each load as it comes out of the dryer, is it just makes it so we no longer have piles sitting on the couch and that is magical. <laughs> it's just wonderful. And so I would encourage you too that don't start another load of laundry if you don't have time to deal with what's in the dryer. So never do that. That's how things get backed up and piled up and it's just, that's when things break down and it doesn't work, <laughs> so. And I know this isn't for everybody. Like I found this out in my last laundry video that some of you 
fold and you fold everything and that is totally fine that you do you but for me um, it has made a huge difference not having to fold everything in our house. So those are the main steps of my laundry routine, but there's also a few other questions that usually come up. So in order to do a load a day, we co-mingle and wash almost everything together. The exception is darks. So anything that's dark colored, I sort that out and I will wash that on its own so that it doesn't get lint on it. And most of that stuff, we actually put on the drying rack to dry on its own. But I think many of you have found this too now that colors don't bleed like they used to, especially once something's been washed a couple times. So we've had no problems washing everything together. Once in a while, I'll pull out Tom's whites and bleach those two or do those on their own. But most days, everything goes in together. Also, if anything is super dirty, then I'll try to wash that on its own. But those are really the only exceptions. We've also tried to really highly simplify the detergents and stain removers and all that kind of stuff that we used. I talked about that a little bit in our video about the 57 things we don't buy anymore, but we've been using Molly's suds. I like that it's good for us, it's good for the environment, it's affordable, it works really well. I have noticed no difference between Tide Free and Clear and the Molly's suds as far as how effective it is. But here's what I have noticed, that the laundry doesn't get smelly in the washer like it used to. It used to be, I mean, we try not to let it sit, right? But it happens from time to time. But it used to be that if it sat overnight it, by morning, it was like smelly. It started to smell, which Tom is very sensitive to, and I would have to rewash it. But now it could sit in there for much longer and it doesn't smell. And so I don't know what it is about that detergent that's different, but I've definitely appreciated that, especially if you have a front load, which those get smelly anyways on their own. And so you might notice that as well. And then for stain removers, I really like OxyClean. I've used that forever. So I'll put that in if a whole load is kind of generally dirty. Otherwise for spot treaters, we'll just use Shout or I do have a Norwex degreaser that works really well. So that's been a good investment too. And then as far as keeping some of Tom's stuff in here, these are all bins for the kids' socks. It's really because this room is convenient. And so again, in our bedroom, we don't have a lot of clothing storage. So that's why we keep that in here. And then for the kids, I really like having their socks down here. All of their clothes are in their bedrooms now, but I like having their socks down here by the door, easy to grab and none of that running up and down to get socks if somebody needs them. Also, when they come out of the dryer then too, it's super quick to just sort them into those bins. So that works really well too. But again, we have a dedicated laundry room. We have space for that. So that's why that works in our house. It might not be ideal for you. So I think that's most of the things that have made laundry run more smoothly, but truly that inventory piece, that's the kicker. Like that's a big one. That makes a huge difference. And I think though, I think you're really gonna find that you like having less to manage. And seriously, aren't these earrings fun? You can get some early Christmas shopping done right now. Head over to the website and know that you're helping a good cause. And then again, uh, check out our Instagram and Facebook page for those giveaways and all the details for our membership group down below as well. That membership group is, it's really cool. It's a really cool community of people, very supportive. I post in there every single day um, with different challenges we're doing and different decluttering tips and ideas. And you get to share your personal questions and wins and the things you're getting rid of. It is, it's so encouraging and supportive. It's probably like no other Facebook group you've joined before. So just so you know, I do think it's worth the fee but I'm biased, so anyways, okay. <laughs> so all those details are down below. But I hope this helps. I wanna hear about what works well for you in your house with laundry or what like does not work. <laughs> Share that down below too. But we love you, we hope you have a really great day and we will definitely look forward to seeing you again soon.